Hi, you will be calling your radical Kevin Blanche here in the second youngest cultural theme park in human history called Brooklyn. So, long live Aaron Swartz. I'm going to talk about the plane being shut down. I'm going to talk a lot about the war dynamic about Aaron Swartz, what they did to him, the Million Mass March, whatever. Born in 86, his birthday the 8th, Million Mass March, round 3. Let me talk about this. Is MIT the head of the snake? He didn't commit a crime. He never committed a crime. He never committed a crime. He didn't do anything. They killed him? Oh, fuck yeah, they murdered him. It's beyond outrage. A million dollar fucking bill from these fake attorneys that do shit. His father got a million dollar attorney bill for an attorney. He could have walked in and been representing himself better. Because judges are lawyers, lawyers are judges because we have no media. Nobody were even reported this in 2013 but us. We started the million mass march around around that. John Anthony, his cousin and I. And, you know, we started this right around, Aaron. It's a murder. He dropped out of school because he knew academia was captured. He says all that homework ain't teaching you nothing because they don't want people like him. But they find people like him by Barry Antoinette and they buy him. They couldn't buy this kid. They tried. They couldn't buy him. So they're going to put him in prison for 35 years for what? Breaking an MIT media lab? So MIT media lab is trying to spin right now the shutdown of the Russian jet. There's going to be hell to pay. Mark my words. Putin the pawn. Putin ain't no pawn. He's the freaking new czar. Please. He's got Nikolai's freaking great grandson, a whole boy. It's all back. 1914 year ahead. Let's go to Vienna and sit in the freaking table where Lenin was, where Trotsky was, where Stalin was, where Freud was. Oh, I was. I sit right in their chair as they freaking wait. How communism, socialism, capitalism, all oh, hijacked words, bullshit words. He knew. Aaron Swartz knew. Then MIT, the kid of the snake. Why would Abe from Fukushima, Japan, in the Kamara, go to Harvard and then sneak over to MIT Media Lab? Why would he possibly go to MIT Media Lab? He knows what I know. Aaron Swartz knew. It's all funded by you, the taxpayer. They call themselves private. They run the whole show. So MIT's having trouble spinning this one. The plane's shot down. It's obvious. They tried to lie, but Egypt come right out and says, no, you're lying. You're lying. We, they first says, oh, he report. This is the lies MIT tried to spin. And as, as I did that, shot it right up Teddy's ass. It's important that I was there and shot that. They tried to lie immediately. And says, oh, that was recordings going back and forth saying this, that, the other thing. Then Egypt's head of their aviation comes out, bullshit, there's nothing, nothing. So they, that didn't work. So then they tried another lie. Oh, Kylie Air, Russia comes out, that didn't work. Shot down, oh, Islamic ISIS, went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. Went off to Iraq for Dick Cheney to, in Rumsfeld and the boys to haul their fucking big old sack to fucking Switzerland. I got chased out of Geneva reporting from there. I won't stop there. Went off to the Viet Cong to kill the Viet Cong. They're still there. He's all gone. Oh, how nice is they made up ISIS. So it's the military industrialized complex. He knew that. He knew all of this. He knew they were all funded by the government. He broke into the main. He didn't commit a crime. That's not illegal. That's not illegal. What's MIT's doing is illegal. Ernest Motsi fuels at Fukushima, Japan. So Abe comes to the United States at Harvard, private institute. Where does he go unannounced? The same room that he went to. MIT, that's where the cover-up of Fukushima is being run. Aaron Schwartz knew that. I know that. Hillary Clinton knows that. The Benghazi is a shiny stick. The emails really lead to Fukushima. You know, it's all shiny stick. Barry Antoinette, the birther, it's all shiny stick. It all really leads to these guys. They know how to play. They throw the shiny stick out. They throw the bone, and you go chase the bone. Keystone Pipeline, the shiny bone. What's Fukushima killing the earth? The great equalizer. Fukushima plus... Westlake, nuclear fire, plus Oak Ridge, Tennessee, what does that equal? Politician dying of lymphoma. Claire Thompson just died. Oh, it won't, it won't kill you. Ask you Chinese jobs. The greatest ecological catastrophe. This guy knew that. Aaron Schwartz knew that. And how about the lawyer sending his dad a million dollar bill for nothing? Like he couldn't even cut a deal. I mean, really. And by the way, the Plowshares 13 who broke into Westlake and tried to warn you and warn you and warn you. He did 13 years in prison trying to warn you. I helped write the answers. As that judge, he, he said in the courtroom, Rosa Park broke the law. Would you put her in jail? After her? She says, you're finally getting to me. I helped write the answers at the potluck for Megan Rice. Who's that? I won't stop there. John Lee and Schwartz. Million Mass March is all rooted around him. I want people to very much, it's all Danielle Willard, it's all rooted around her. It's about justice, and it's about fairness, and it's about and by the way, this is a call. Nobody's from here. I, I ask everybody. Nobody knows shit. This is not an art community. Yoko Ono, anything? Yoko Ono is not an artist. You know, she's not an artist. She's an oligarch. Not my words. You know, the critics have all said, burn their mobile past. The moment is not an art community. It's not an art community. It's a cultural theme park. 
The youngest th culture theme park, the, well, it's not culture, it's California. 167, took the pyramids 4,000 years, took Vienna 1,200 years, took a lot of these places to become cultural theme parks. Now here, took this place, you know, two, 300 years. Go Brooklyn Robins, what's that? Go Blackbirds, what's that? They ain't got a clue here because nobody's from here, you know? Fort Greene as Hamilton led the Battle of Brooklyn, what's that? At Hamilton's grave, what's that? What's a tariff? What's uh, the Masonic thesis, the old one, justice and fairness? We're not Masons, oh, but we are. I split my own rock. Long live Aaron Swartz. He died the same day. He died the same day that Alexander Hamilton was born. I was standing right over here the day he died. I just come out of the bone marrow transplant. I was here. I was very clear. He hung himself in Crown Heights. I broke down and cried that day, and I didn't even know he had died. I didn't know. I could sense it. The only time I really broke down that day, I thought I was going to die. I almost went. Schnauz released all kinds of documents that they're trying to kill us activists. They want us all dead, of course. But now the great equalizer, Fukushima, is killing themselves. They eat their fucking own. The plane that got shot down, American military advisors, they're all over there. And by the way, the military military is not a government militia that Hamilton hypothesized at the Coast Guard, the first day employees collecting duties. No. They are mercenaries that work for corporations. They're corporate oligarchs who don't even live here. You know, Tim Cook who is openly gay when they execute people in China for being gay. It's oligarchy all over the world. It's neo-feudalism. It's all 1914. It's all about. He knew that. He knew that. He was dangerous because he was smart and he had control of the internet. Kill him. That's what they do. Ask Bradley Manning. Ask you, I mean, Jassant, just a reporter like Dan Rather. I won't stop there. Fucking murdering rats. Remember, remember the 5th of November. He was born on the 8th of November. 1986 when the Mets won it, when I knew Buckner, Buckner played noggin in my town when I was a kid when it rolled through his legs. Now it goes full circle, it rolled through Murphy's leg. Royals win, and it's funny that they're named Royals because they're a bunch of ragtags, they're the opposite of the Yankees. So, January 11th, my two grandsons, my little baby 11s, I had a premonition I was going to die in that year. Almost did. Three 11s. The calendar opposite six months from 9-11. Did they cause it? Building nuclear reactors on fucking tsunami joints? Look up John Holden. The eugenicist, what a way to eugenic your people. All run from that little teeny room. Little teeny room. Try going in there. Try, you can't even find it. Just like the door at the Department of Energy the day I was there, the million mass and I couldn't find it. Try finding it. <laughs> Just like Goldman Sachs door down the Lomat, try finding it. I know where they're all at. On the room it says scrambled language. It says on the wall, protecting your children. You evil, sick fucking rats across the line now at MIT. The skull and crossbones, Bill Rhodesia fucking Clinton. You know, the bastard fucking child? Oh yeah, the bastard child of who? Just like Hamilton? No, the opposite of Hamilton. Bastard child, a Scottish bastard child, the abolitionist? No, Bill Walmart Clinton. Rockefeller's kid? Probably. Who is Barry Antoinette? Here, go catch the shiny dick who wasn't born here. Go get the shiny stick. Why, he's really a freaking globalist, nothing black about him. Ask his grandpa, named his daughter Stanley. Aaron Schwartz knew all this, he's that brilliant. So, the Million Mouse March, let's get this party started. It's global, five million. It's a global issue, it's about fairness. It's about fairness. Kill Danielle Willard, shoot her in the face for nothing. There's no justice. This place has been looted. The United States is looted. It's in, you just let the looting go on. They've looted this fucking place. It's so unjust. That's the most, he didn't break the law. He never did anything fucking illegal. MIT's breaking the law. Tax funded fucking thing. Hiding fucking all their stuff when you the taxpayer are paying for it. They're not private. They're not private. It's been proven over and over. PhD, PhD. The real ones. Before they hijacked academia. Threw me off the campuses. Threw me out of the fucking classroom because that's just the fucking goats. Everybody's going to be. You chase your unicorn economy. You're going to go chase the unicorn here. You're going to come here and be the unicorn, you know, in the server-based dog walker fucking usury-based economy. You're impoverished and don't even fucking know. It's called Fukushima. Cancer. Cancer. You knew it. Long live Aaron fucking Swartz. Let's get this party started round three. This whole gig was started in a little old candy store right around the corner. Here in Billingsburg before it was hijacked when artists, that's where I started. It's called Post Ignorance. Thank you, John Anthony, for coming up with this idea and his cousin. It's all rooted around this kid. All rooted around him. Fucking outrageous. 35 years for what? For what? When fucking 
Alexander Hamilton paid himself 0.0. .0. Paulson loots the treasury for 400 billion. To lie and cheat and thieve is to be an oligarch god. To tell the truth is to die. Ask Pat Tillman. Ask Aaron Schwartz. Ask I am Michael Hastings. By the way, I understand Michael Hastings' piece was about him. Michael Hastings' piece was about fucking the ordered execution murder of Pat Tillman. There's no, by the way, you fuckers that did this to him, there's no statute of limitations on murder. He hang himself? No, you hung him. You didn't put the noose around his neck. Oh, yes, you did. 35 years in prison? For what? For what? You fucking lying, you little rats. Stay in tune in.